Everyone knows by now that eight months ago, the legend himself, Kobe Bryant, has died. And around that time, people also made videos about calling him at 3 a.m. Like, almost every person does. Like, I'm Jay Station. And out of all the kids who have done and made a video already, somehow, for this person named It's Jack, or his other name, has somehow made that video even more disrespectful, like it's not already is. Now, that doesn't call him out or show any red flags for any person who hasn't known him or thinks that he still makes good content. Well, then I'm sorry to blame it to you, but you're wrong. And you might be saying everyone has an opinion, but I'm just saying that is morally wrong to make a 3 and trying about a dead person. A brief overview of what basically happened is pretty simple. He made a 3 a.m. challenge about him, and then after that, um, he obviously got like a lot of hate, like no shit. And then after that, um, he deleted his whole channel with his whole videos. Now I have, a, now I have more of the question, like many other people did, of why the hell he had like more than a hundred subscribers. But anyway, that's not the point right now. And then after that, he quieted down for a period of time. And you might be thinking, in the time, think of what he did was wrong. But no, of course, he went back to shit, making shit content. He rebranded himself as one of those clickbait Fortnite slash Roblox YouTubers, and it really shows. Now, if Warren clickbaiting a dead person like Kobe Bryant for views isn't bad enough, the thing that he does with new content is kind of, actually, never mind, it's not that worse, but it's still very bad. Basically, what he does is he scams kids. Now, you might be asking, like, well, what does he scam? It couldn't be that bad. Well, obviously, then you're a retard then, because he obviously, Roblox is not, like, that much of a big deal for scamming, but it's still very bad, especially for little kids who mostly play Roblox. At the time of recording this, he's doing a whole ass live stream, trying to, trying to people to, to get to subscribe to him, enter his giveaway, and like the video, and do all those shit, just to get some free Robux. It's honestly very sad of how much people believe him, spamming his, spamming your name, liking the thing, and doing all the shit just for him to say, oh, you're not gonna get the free Robux. It's basically a giant slap in the face for everyone who did all those things that he asked for them to do, or for, the, or for him to say to not do it at all, or not even mention their names. That's not even the worst thing that he probably done. Since everyone like knew that he made the video on him, and after and after he rebranded his channel, everyone knew that it was him. So obviously he went doing shit straight to disliking and obviously hating him for an actual decent reason. But obviously he liked lots of videos and deletes lots of comments just to get the people on his side. And the best part that I'm not sure why is people exposed to him like like me. Obviously I don't have a big fan base, but if I try, then I at least do something like a big YouTuber. And try to expose him, he probably just laugh at the criticism and don't respond to anything because no one believes him, and that's the problem. Obviously, his channel should not exist whatsoever, and obviously, I can't really be the one to talk. But seriously, dude, how the hell do you fuck up twice so like morally? First with Kobe's death and clickbaiting him for views, and then scamming kids and making trash content over just, over just for your own game. Honestly, how? Well, probably if you're not Jay Paul, or maybe or maybe Rice Gum with those Amazon gift cards. Now, with all the information aside, let's all agree, no matter what you say, let's just all agree with one final embrace that Itch Jack is a piece of shit, and honestly, she should stop her channel forever. Mm.